Hello my friends, welcome to my first impression review of the deck of Scarlet. I am so excited to review this for you. It has been highly requested on the channel and I cannot wait to tell you all about the subscription service. Like I mentioned, a bunch of people asked me to review this and when they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a sponsored video with them, I was like, yes, definitely, because I knew that there was interest there. I've seen this all over YouTube. It's always in collaboration with YouTubers, so it's everywhere. And you know me, I like to know for myself whether something's good or not, you know? So let me give you a little bit of information about Deck of Scarlet. It is $29.95 and it is a bi-monthly subscription. So you'll get a palette one month and then the next month they give you a preview of the following palette and you get to decide whether you want to purchase it or not and if you don't want it you can skip it and then the next month you'll get your palette so it's every other month that they have a palette available for purchase every palette is different and every palette is limited edition all of the products that come in deck of scarlet are full size and you get eight to nine products every month which comes out to about be about three dollars and 33 cents per product if you get nine products which is an insane deal if you're out buying an eyeliner to get one for three dollars and 30 cents we're talking low level drugstore prices here so it's very inexpensive when you look at it on the whole. Deck of Scarlet as a brand is cruelty free. They do have the little PETA bunny on the back of their products. They're paraben free, they're made in the USA, and the palette does have a 12 month expiration little symbol on the back of it. I did notice on their website you can buy the palettes individually if you're not subscribed. They're $44.95 a piece, and they, but they're only available until they sell out. So let's go ahead and get into what you get in the Deck of Scarlet for your $30. Um, shipping is included within the $30 by the way. So when you open it up, you get this little card and it's this one says meet Evan Wobb. I hopefully I said her name correctly. She is a YouTuber. She has about a million subscribers. She's one of those ridiculously pretty people. If I ever saw her on the street, I would probably do like a double take because she just wouldn't look like a real person because she's like that pretty. You know what I mean? She's very talented. I was watching one of her tutorials. She did a fantastic job in her tutorial. But anyway, so Evan was the one that collaborated on this palette or this set of products and you get this in this really nice packaging. It's got this foam here, which is fantastic because nothing is worse than being excited about getting something and everything you get is broken. So it's nice that this is protected. It's also protected with this over top that I didn't show you. That's over top when you get it. And then you've got this. So let's go ahead and take out the palette and then you get two pencils. I'll show you those in a second. So it comes like this and this automatically reminded me, let's see, give me a second. What does this remind you of? Okay, it reminds me of Fifty Shades of Grey. Did it remind you of Fifty Shades of Grey? Totally reminds me of that. Uh, and it's really nice. It's got a little bit of a texture to it right here. It's very nice. And then the palette itself also has a little bit of a texture here. It's very soft, nursey kind of packaging. I forget what that's called. Someone told me once what that was called, but I can't remember right now. And then it says Deck of Scarlet here. And then on the back it says Deck of Scarlet Edition Number One. There were two palettes before this, one by Kelly Strack, and then the other one was by, what's her name? Her name is Sandra deluxe. I have met Kelly before. She's super, super nice. But anyway, so we open this up and you have the little protection here. And one thing I really love about this is they separate the powder products from the cream products, which is fantastic. So you have the two doors here. The eyeshadow or the powder product door has a mirror on it. And then this one is for the lip products. So while you're using the powder products, you keep the lip product closed so you don't get powder in your lip products, which is super, super smart. The magnetic closure is very, very nice on here. It just feels a very, very high quality. Quality. I keep saying very, very. How many times have I said that? All right, inside here we have a highlighter named Halo. We have a bronzer or contour called Sandstorm. We have an eyeshadow called Fudge and an eyeshadow called Mermaid. We're going to talk a little bit more about sunshine in a minute. They call this a face pigment and we'll talk about that when we get into ingredient analysis. So this here under here we have two lip products. This one is called Coral Kisses and this one is called Almond. And these are all full size, which is super awesome. You also get, which one is this one? This is the eyeliner in Chameleon. I'll put a swatch of it from their website there and then you get a lip liner in the shade Cake Pop swatch there. They're both roll-ups. So you go like these and you can roll them up or down, which is very, very nice. And the packaging is pretty standard. The top really goes on nicely. Sometimes I'll get pencils where the top doesn't click on very well and they open up and they make a mess. These click on very 
nicely, which is great. And they say Deck of Scarlet on them. So let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. So the first thing is that the eyeshadows do contain talc and phenoxyethanol. They're irritants to some people. They're in pretty much every single makeup product ever made. So if you are allergic to talc or phenoxyethanol, I'm very sorry for you. This, it's in this and everything else. And if I ever find a product that doesn't have those ingredients, I will be sure to let you know. And I'm sorry. In the shade Fudge, we have something called BHT. I did want to mention this. It is rated as a six on environmental working group, but from the research that I did, it seems to be kind of bunk in that the research really is about when you ingest it rather than when you're putting it on your face. Uh, NIH, the National Institute of Health, says that it's fine in cosmetics because of the low concentration of this ingredient that's in cosmetics. So I'm not worried about that one. BHT is also in the eyeliner and also the lip liner, but I, again, I'm not worried about that ingredient. The shade Mermaid has ferric ferrocyanide in it, so it is not lip safe. Don't put that on your lips. Now the shade Sunshine has a, an ingredient in it called Red 6. Now Red 6 was also in the Urban Decay Electric Palette and people were upset that they had used Red 6 in the Urban Decay Electric Palette because Red 6 is not, not eye safe. I know a lot of people use the shades from the Urban Decay Electric Palette on their eyes and I know that people are going to be using Sunshine on their eyes, but just so you know the FDA does say that this particular ingredient is not eye safe. Now along with that, sometimes people will use lip products on their eyes as eyeliner and just so you know, Coral Kisses has Red 7 in it, which is not eye safe and the lip in Almond has Red 6 in it as well, so that one is not eye safe. When we look at the cheek products, we're just looking at talc and phenoxyethanol in the Sandstorm, so you can use that on your eyes according to the FDA and then the highlighter in Halo has talc and ultramarines in it and ultramarines are not, uh, not lip safe. You can use Halo on your eyes. It is eye safe, but it is not lip safe according to the pigment that's in there. Now with the eyeliner in Chameleon, it has something in here called cyclopentasiloxane, which is found safe on humans, but it is found to be bioaccumulative in wildlife, especially when it's kind of washed down the sink and gets into uh, you know, the water system. So what I would recommend if you use the eyeliner is to wipe it off with a cotton pad instead of washing it down the sink with makeup remover. You may want to wipe it off instead. Also with the eyeliner, it has ferric ferrocyanide and it's not lip safe, so don't use the eyeliner on your lips. And then with the lip liner and cake pop, it does have the red six in it. So again, not eye safe, but I can't really imagine someone using the uh, the lip liner on their eyes. That'd be kind of a strange thing to do, but you never know. And again, this is the information from the FDA. Are you gonna die if you don't follow these? Probably not, but the FDA does say it for a reason. So it's up to you what you wanna do. You are of an age where you're using makeup. So I'm assuming you're uh, mature enough to make the decision of what's best for you. I am just providing the information for you. All right, so now it is time to go ahead and use these on my face and see how they work. I haven't used it yet and I'm super excited to see how they work. I've heard such great things. Zooming in, getting all up close and personal in my face. And now that I'm looking at myself in the monitor, I'm realizing I didn't put on any foundation or brows yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation and brows and I'll be right back. We are back with a monochromatic face. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start with, we're gonna try Sandstorm up in the crease. I didn't put any primer on because I, not everybody owns a primer and this didn't come with a primer. So we're gonna go Sun's Primer. Let's go ahead. There we go, that's very nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and put Halo all over the lid. It's so shimmery. Ooh, there's lots of powder kick up. That's not necessarily a bad thing as long as you tap off your brush. So that's what I just did. I have no eye base down, so that is going to affect the performance in that if I put a base down, it would mute out this coloration and make the shadow more poppy. Let's just stick with mermaid and fudge. Let's, let's stick with the eye safe on the eyes here. So we're gonna go ahead and let's put mermaid, which is the green shade, on the outer half of the eye. Uh, not super poppy. And we'll kind of blend that up into the crease a little bit. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. And I'm gonna take Sandstorm and go back over top of my brow bone just a little bit, make this a little higher. Whoa, that's a little too high, Jen. A little too high. Let's go back into Halo and let's uh, go ahead and hit the brow bone real quick. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna run fudge up in the crease. I do have some fallout, as you can see right here, but that might have been my fault for not tapping off my brush. Very nice. I'm a little disappointed in Mermaid and how it's not really showing that green, but it might be because I didn't use the base. Because you know it's all about that base. No. Stop it, Jen. Stop it right now. No one wants to hear that, Jen. I'm just trying to build it. Build. Build, I tell you. So we're gonna go back into Halo and just try to build that too. Well, it's not so bad now, I don't know. It's still not as poppy as I hoped it would be. Look at that, woo! Let's see if we can just brush that off. A lot of it I can. Already got my highlight rocking. <laughs> so that's a good thing about using highlighter on your eyes. If it falls on your cheeks, you're good. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the other eye and try to make it match. I'm very much regretting not using a, uh, a primer or a base on this. But between when this goes live and when I film this, I will try it a few more times and I will put more information in the description box as far as using it other times with other things. So now we're going to go into the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and put Mermaid on the lower lash line on the outer corner. That is so pretty. That's really nice. And maybe even a little mermaid as a liner on the top, just a little bit. You know what, I'm liking that. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little bit on with my fingertip, they're so soft. I'm gonna pop a little bit with my fingertip. Whoa, that works. There we go, that's what I was looking for. There we go. All right, I'm gonna use Halo with my fingertip and see what happens. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we found the trick. Look at the difference. That is a huge difference. Now, hopefully I don't blend it out when I get my brush involved. Because I want to try to blend these colors into each other, but that definitely looks much better. Oh, it's gone again. Darn it. I'm trying to blend them into each other, not blending into each other. They're just blending away. No, don't do that, no! Maybe I need a softer brush. All right, so I'm gonna pop this back on. And then this one back on. See if that helps. Just gotta be super gentle on the blend. Super gentle. There we go. Woo! All right, so let's go ahead and go into the eyeliner in Chameleon, and that's all we're gonna use for liner today. Okay, taking a little bit of effort to get this to go on my eyes. I did not expect it to be so green. I thought it was gonna be more black, but that's kind of cool. Okay, let's do lip liner. This is a very me shade. This can go with a lot of different lip products. One thing I was reading about lip liner, because I'm not a big lip liner person, so this is probably obvious to you, but that as we get older, our lip line starts being less defined, so a way to look younger is to use lip liner. Here we go. I like the lip liner. This would be good just by itself with a lip gloss over top. It would be gorgeous. I'm tempted to do that, but I want to show you what these lip products look like. So let's go ahead. I'm going to close up the powder products and I'm going to open up these. And let's go ahead. And since they didn't, and they don't include like a lip brush or anything, I'm just going to use my fingers because not everybody has a lip brush. So I'm going to go ahead into almond. Whoa! Holy moly, that's soft. I was not expecting that. Okay. I'm gonna reopen this so I can use the mirror. Oh wow. That is gorgeous. Man, that is pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, now this could either mess it up or it could make it look really cool. I wanna try sunshine on the lips. We're gonna just put a little bit in the center and see what happens. Cause it's lip safe. That's interesting. Hmm. 
kind of like that. It's like orangey, but not too orangey, you know? Like I would imagine that this orange would be a little crazy for me. So I think using sunshine is definitely a way to get that orangey look without being overpowering. And I really like the way that looks. For reals, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Sandstorm as a contour, and we're gonna see how that goes. Nice, Jen, nice. I like it, I like it a lot. That's fantastic. Good job, Deck of Scarlet. I like that. Sweet. Okay, so now we're gonna go into Halo as a highlighter. There's a pop, pop, the pop, pop. This is definitely a poppin' highlight. I don't have big pores, so it's hard for me to judge, but I can see ones that really accentuate my pores. This one's not so bad. And I think I'm gonna leave the cheeks at that just because I wanna use just the products in here and I don't want them to be masked by other products. So this is the final look up close. Definitely not Instagram worthy because girlfriend's not a makeup artist, but we're gonna be able to see wear time without a primer and see how that goes, so. All right, so this is the final look that I'm gonna wear today. I'm purposely not wearing lashes because I want you to be able to see the wear time of the eyeliner. Now it is quite late because I was doing ingredient analysis all morning. I did the makeup men and all that. So it is exactly three o'clock. I'm not sure if you can see that. Zoom in, exactly three o'clock. We are gonna check back in at the end of the evening. Uh, and see how all of this wore. My first impression is that overall, everything was pretty easy to work with except for the eyeshadow on the eyes. I'd be really curious to see how this stuff works over top of a base. I think that it might make a huge difference as far as the pigmentation, especially over using like a white pencil, I think would be a really good idea to use with this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my leave of you and I will see you in about seven hours or so. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, it'll be about two seconds. So, all right, you ready for seven hours to pass? Ready, set, all right, we're back. It's been seven hours. Did it feel like seven hours to you? I know it did to me. It is 10.01, hopefully you can see that. My phone is now on sleepy time mode, so it's like, it's hard to see it. But it's 10.01 p.m., uh, so I've got some mixed feelings about the performance of this. I do feel like the shades that are meant to be eyeshadows, the fudge and the mermaid, did great as far as the lasting power. The eyeliner lasted really, really well as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it is definitely still on there. In hindsight, I wish I'd put it on my lower waterline to see whether it lasted in the waterline, but I didn't do that. I should have. Um, but again, I'm going to put any updated information on this palette. Anything else I learned about this palette, I will put it in the description. But as far as it lasting on the upper lash line, it did a fantastic job. Sandstorm, also awesome as far as the eyeshadow. I can still see it a little bit on the contour, and usually I don't have good luck with contour contour and highlight shades lasting a long time on my cheeks. So I feel like the contour did pretty well considering that I never really have a contour last on me that long um, and I can still see it a little bit. Now the highlight shade, this shade Halo, is a glitter bomb. It, it's a glitter bomb. It is under my eyes from when I patted it on my lids which may have been partly my fault for not tapping off my brush enough. It may have been, maybe it needs a glitter glue or a stickier base or even a primer might be able to hold on to it a little bit better. So that may just been my choice of application for this video that may have messed that up. Uh, but I, got, I have glitter everywhere. I mean, it's like glitter here, glitter there, glitter all over the place. Uh, as far as the lip product, we did go out to dinner with our friend Natalie Siki, who is visiting from Brazil. She's an amazing tattoo artist. I'll link her uh, information down below so you can check her out. She's amazing. But we went out to dinner and as soon as I wiped my lips, the lip product was gone which is typical of a typical lipstick. I didn't expect it to last longer than that. But the lipstick was very comfortable. There was no weird patchiness or weird filminess or anything crazy going on uh, when, it, when it was coming off. Um, I did, it was probably about three, at least three to four hours before we ate dinner and nothing weird was happening before then and it was very comfortable. So definite thumbs up on the lip product for a typical lipstick. It was
was very nice. Um, and I loved the shade. The shade was beautiful, wasn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you back out for some final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Deck of Scarlet as a subscription. I think it is a phenomenal deal, a really good deal. And I think what really makes this good is that you can skip a month. So if you look at this and you go, oh my goodness, I will never wear that orange. I will never wear that green. It's not going to happen. I'm never going to wear this orange. You can skip this one and it's no problem. You just have to make sure, like I know with um, other subscriptions, you just have to make sure you go on and skip it. So you can set a reminder on your phone. I mean, with technology these days, it's super easy to be reminded to do things with all of our technology. To, be, to pay less than $4 per product, I mean, that's pretty stinking amazing. It's a great way to grow your collection. Uh, the application was a little bit tough as far as the blending on these shadows. But again, I really think that might have been just my lack of primer application, my, you know, you might be able to use some glitter glue, you might wet the shadows. There's lots of things you can do to play with it, but because this was a first impression, I can't do everything. I had to pick one way to do it. Uh, but any updated information I will put in the description as I find out more about this and for any information you need to know about it. But I have to say I'm very surprised. One of my favorite things in here was the lip product. I love the way that thing looked. It was so pretty and it's just so creamy and so comfortable. The lip product itself doesn't really have a scent. If I have to like pull something out of it, I'll, here, let me put it on. I'm trying to see if the lip product has any scent and I'm doing the no mirror makeup challenge right now to find out. I have a mirror right here, duh Jen. <laughs> I don't taste anything. I don't smell anything. So that's really good for people that are sensitive to scents. I feel like, you never fully dressed without a smile. Like that's how I feel right now with my lipstick. I feel so much better now. The thing about this is if you're paying $30, you're paying about a little over $3 a product, maybe $4 a product. So if you end up with even half of it that you don't like, then you're looking at six to $8 a product for the things that you do like. So, I mean, even if you only end up liking four things in here, you're still definitely getting your money worth because you're getting higher quality than drugstore products, which is what drugstore products cost these days. They'll, they'll run you anywhere from eight to $12 for a product at the drugstore now. So the fact that this is $30 and you get this, and on top of that, you get the eyeliner and the lip liner too. Like, are you kidding me? It's an incredible, incredible deal. And if you end up seeing a YouTuber that you specifically want to support, that lady's upside down, that's another way to get it. Personally, I would pay $30 just for the eyeliner, the lip liner, and the bronzer alone. And then bonus with the lip product and the eyeshadows that I still want to play with because I haven't given up on them yet. So, I mean, I definitely think this is worth $30. I would love to know what you think in the comments below, whether you feel like this is a subscription that you are interested in. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. That was really nice of you. Thank you so much. And I love to you. And I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.